Hello fellow survivors and welcome to the Alpha 15 Experimental. We're currently in build 94 and we've got a new Alpha and I've got a new computer and I've got a new monitor and I've got a new headset and I've got a new everything and we're going to get going on this really beautiful game. Sorry about that delay guys, but I knew that I had some gear coming in. I didn't want to step upgrade, step upgrade, step upgrade. So I just took a week or two. So, and also I was kind of hoping that maybe Alpha 15 Real would be out by the time all that was done. But here we are. We're going to start anyway, and we're going to start with a world that we're hopefully going to continue into Alpha 15 Real, and if there's a reset, eh, we'll live with it. Um, I'm going to set this up for multiplayer, just in case anybody else wants to join. Random Gen, if you want to play along with the home game, the seed is 2CE A15. Uh, and we're going to be doing that. So, as far as standard options, I'm leaving them on. I don't want to cheat daylight length anymore, and here's the reason why. Your seven-day horde is programmed to come until dawn. So, if you cheat your daylight length, technically, you're also now mucking about with the horde itself, which changes the game experience, so I don't want to do that. Uh, I did set the daylight hour to 60 minutes for OCD reasons. Um, airdrop um, marks are on because, as I've explained before, I've got my real-life skills, I am properly trained, and I can do that. So I want to be able to do it in the game as well. Other than that, everything else I'm leaving exactly the same. The multiplayer, uh, the only settings I changed were I put in a passcode, which I'm not going to show you, um, to keep people out that I don't want in. And uh, I set the multiplayer to kill allies only. That way, if somebody does show up unexpectedly, they can't muck about with the show. So here we go. Okay, guys, so as far as channel content while well, this is building, um, I'm going to be running this show, which is pretty much just my catch-as-catch-can show, where I'm going to play the game however I want to in the moment. Might be some b base building, might be some nomading going on. This is going to be the all-around show. Uh, I'm going to do something similar to the One Life Challenge, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to do a narrative um, playlist as well where it's going to follow one guy trying to survive through the zombie apocalypse. I have a neat storyline set up for that. I'm not going to be starting that until Alpha 15 officially drops, because that I don't want to have to do any changes to once it comes in. And look at this beauty, beauty, beauty right here. If you're wondering what my video settings are set to right now, they are not even completely maxed out, but pretty darn close, if I do say so myself. Um... And it's gorgeous. It's beautiful thing. We're going to pick up Yuka. We're going to start punching some grass. Oh, look at the box. Honestly, one of the things I love about this game is starting new games because I find that the first 14 days are the most challenging. So if you're watching this for a startup tutorial, which I guess I could do as well, um, you're going to see that you get quests in the upper right hand side. Right now, I need to gather small stones. Now, you can punch these guys until you are blue in the face. And as you will see in the bottom right-hand corner, right next to my logo, you eventually will collect rocks. Now, I figure that's probably no good for my fingers, so what I'm going to do instead is wander around and try to find rocks on the ground, like this guy right here. We're up to three out of five. So we're just going to look for them. Collecting all these feathers in the process because... Good lord, do I want as many arrows as I can get. Now I've got some wood already. So we just need to find us... Nope, you're not a rock. You have feathers. That's okay though, I will take your feathers. Are you a rock? You are a rock. One more rock and we are... Good to go. What are you? What are you? What are you? You're just trash. Even the trash looks beautiful in Alpha 15. The apocalypse will be televised and it will be in high definition. Alright, so you heard the thud. That means we have everything we need. So we are going to craft a stone axe. There we go. Drop the stone axe down, put everything else in the box, because I hate things being down here in my window. And now it wants us to make some plant fiber clothing. I'm going to collect all the fiber I will ever need by hitting a cactus. Because that also will give me more yucca fruit. Alright, so we're just going to get the clothing out of the way real quick. Craftity, craftity. Craftity, 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 and because we're in the desert, go with the hat that will cool us down as well. Craftity. 
And while those are getting ready, we're going to beat on some rocks so that we can make replacement stone axes and more arrows and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, there's a little bit of audio clipping going on. Um, I'm trying some new streaming recording equipment. I'm not sure if that's what's causing it. I promise I'll have that figured out within an episode or two, so please bear with me. You're trying to experience new technological advancements, and I am not to say that I'm technologically inept, but I'm also not very high on the technological savviness scale, so this may take a couple tries, and it may take me calling tech support, i.e. my buddy Morden, or some of my other uh, YouTubing friends may be able to assist. If you have other ideas or software that you use that you think I should use because you think it is the best software to use, please leave in the comments below because I am always willing to up my game and anything that someone can give me to help out, I will more than happily pirate that information. So now that we got this rock busted up and our axe busted up, who's going to bust first? It's going to be the rock! No, it's not! It's the axe! Okay, so one of the changes for Alpha 15 here is that we can actually scrap or repair. Now, here's a pro tip, guys. When you repair things, you get XP for it. So, even though we don't want to reuse this axe, let's repair it, then scrap it. And that way we got some XP for building a new one, even though we didn't. And now we're going to build... Oh, I'm out of wood. So I guess I'm only going to build one. While we're here, let's finish off this quest of wearing clothing. Wear, 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 wear. Place, and then scrap that guy. Ba Bam! For those of you um, old enough to remember, I give you Yule Brenner from Westworld. All right, and now you break. All right, so we need to find some wood because we can't build new axes without more wood, and this biome is not known for its woodiness being a desert. These guys here give you some wood, but not very much. Not very much, not very much. We've got these dead logs here. That we'll give you some. Now, we're going to build this first club just to get the quest out of the way, and the reason why I say it's the first club is... As soon as we turn those feathers into arrows, we're going to have no use for that crappy club. Uh, I want to build a backup stone axe first. Uh, and now we're going to gather wood and make feathers. Wood, 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 wood. I have been here before. Have I been here? I have not been here. I'm here now. Alright, uh, there's a road. Roads are handy. And there's water. Water is very handy. Water is life. Now, the rating of your bow kind of goes up every single time you craft arrows, because Crafting arrows goes into the weapon crafting skill, so it's actually best to do all of your arrows first, and then make your bow. I mean, that's that's a pretty well-known tip, and most people watching me right now are going, Second Class Elitist, why are you bringing up all this basic stuff? Uh, the reason I'm bringing up all this basic stuff is I'm expecting this game is going to see another massive surge of players when Alpha 15 Real hits. Uh, and they unfortunately haven't been doing this for years, like some of us, so new tips are a good thing. Alright, so arrows. I have 74 feathers. I only have 64 wood, so that means I can only craft 64 feathers, and I'm going to look for more wood. You remember a second ago that when we crafted a club, it was rated as 1. So we're going to see what crafting 64 arrows does to that rating. So pretty much this first episode here is just going to be a 7-day tutorial and giving you guys a little bit of a program for what's coming up on the channel. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be doing a one-player narrative. I'm going to have this Let's Play going on. I'm also going to have some multiplayer play that will be recorded on Ground Zero games once uh, Alpha 15 Real hits uh, with my normal gaming group. And this is definitely something for you guys to look into. If you're looking for multiplayer, 
locations. Ground Zero is a. Ooh, is that chicken? 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 Come here, chicken. Oh, anti graph chicken. Chicken chasing. Where's chicken? 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 chicken. I'm gonna go all Rocky style on the chicken. There you go, Rocky style, every time. Rocky food. All right, that'll give us a lot more feathers for a lot more arrows, and it'll give us some meat that we don't want right now because it's gonna make us more attractable to zombies. It's only one, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. One meat more or less, more or less is not going to affect my overall survivability. But now we've got a ton of arrows, which is great. Uh, so, where was I? Right, yeah, Ground Zero Games. If you're looking for a place to multiplay, I highly rec recommend GZG. Uh, it is a whitelist server. Basically, you have to not be a jerk. And it is PvE up north, PvP in the south. So whatever style of game you prefer, you can get. Uh, there's some rules about bouncing back and forth between the two. Check that out on, on their website. I will leave a link in the description below. Give me something good in the car. Nope! Uh, Alright, so 21 more wood. You know what? We're going to make 21 more feathers. Eventually we'll get around to making that bow. But you know, I wasn't expecting to kill me a chicken. So, yeah, so I'll have the narrative, I'll have this Let's Play. Uh, I'm also going to do a series on base builds and ideas for base builds, because if you're interested in base building, you really don't want to watch much else. Um, the thought is I'm going to approach it from a startup position, so it'll be seven days to build, yada yada. So um, I'm experimenting right now with a couple different base ideas. All of the crafting is different in this edition. Sweet lord, I'm collecting feathers all over the place. I'm going to have to abandon my build all your feathers first, because otherwise I'll never get this bow done. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, first apocalypse problems right there. Okay, so... Hope you're a rock nut with. I have to get used to what things look like now, because they all look so much prettier, I can't tell them apart. Just look at that ground texture! My lord, that's amazing. And my axe is busted... Good thing I've got a replacement. We we'll drop that down there. We will repair him, which costs one stone, and then we will scrap him, which will give us three. So we still net a bonus of two stones, but we're multiplying our experience. It's all about creating a good user experience, and more XP is a better experience for me. Your mileage may vary. Oh, a rabbit just died on a cactus somewhere. All right, and yes, I can finally make... Nope, now I... All right, so now I'm running out of stones. There we go. So that'll be that. And then we will make our bow after making almost 100 feathers. What's in the car? Nothing. All these cars have been preset by Midnight Designer to have absolutely nothing in them. Like every car that he ever searches. <clears throat> Alright, so our bow and arrow quest is done, which means that we have finished building our bow. I'm going to get a little bit more stone here. Now, you, oh, anytime that you have something that breaks down in stages like this, again, this is a newbie tip, you want to make sure you break down all the way, because see how I'm getting like ones and ones over there right now? When we get down to this last hit, I'm going to let this clear out so you can see what happens on that final strike. You get the payoff, which is 12 stone and 5 raw iron. So you definitely don't want to leave something laying around. If you don't have time or space to finish it out all the way, that's cool, but at least take it down through that whole stage. Get your payoff. So look, 99 arrows. Um... I got 99 problems, but I don't really want one. And wooden bow, this club was a 1, the bow is a 59. So we went up 58 points by making 100 arrows. Roughly half a point per arrow. 
So we're going to make a bunch more. And while those are making, I'm going to hit this up, and then we're going to see what's at the end of this road, because this kind of road means that a place of interest for POI is going to be at the end of that gravel road. And we want to be well armed, because we don't know how interesting that place of interest is going to be. Also coming up on the channel is going to be some uh, gameplay for Osiris New Dawn. Uh, it is ultra early alpha, as in just came out, only has one of four classes currently playable. Lists a lot of schematics that you can't build yet because they're not available. So uh, it's a little bit sketchy-esque at the moment, um, but it looks like it's going to be a really solid game. If it gets to where it promises, it'll give us everything that No Man's Sky didn't. Basically, the best description I can give you is kind of like a stranded deep in space. Stranded space, shall we say. Um, you are the... You survived a single man vessel crash landing on the moon next to a planet that you are trying to get to. And you have to survive long enough to build a structure, build a habitat, and eventually build a spaceship to leave that moon. So it's still really in a limited stage at the moment, but it's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that one. All right, we're going to go with the best axe we got, and we're going to scrap a do these. scrap a do scrap a do Got 15 arrows coming. When we get done those, I'm going to want a new bow. Ah, and there's Morton. Oh, I hear neighbors. And chickens. I should have enough for a bow. I don't know why it's not coming up. Unless the bow recipes have drastically changed. Wooden bow, I need 12 wood. So, the answer is yes, it's drastically changed. So I went to make a new bow. A new bow. I went to make a new bow, and I went to make a new club. That's going to give us enough wood. Craft the bow first, or craft the club first, and then not have enough wood. And we'll scrap that, and then that guy goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and we drop it on the ground instead because the best way to use a bow is to throw it. There we are. All right, hit R to equip our arrows and figure out what's down the road. What's down the road is a zombie. Zombie? Boink. What's down the road is many zombies. She goes down, pick up sandwiches. One, two. Right to the head, and to the not head. And uh, whoa, hey, 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 wait your turn, woman. Don't, no, no need to jump in line. I got arrows for everybody. I hate it when people jump in line. It's rude. Everyone will get shot in the face. Just wait your turn. Oh, Belgreth picked up Osiris. He was actually over the other day watching me play it and yelling at me that I was going to make him spend 25 bucks. So, it's a gorgeous game, guys. Check it out. You will get a chance to meet Belgreth97 in person, or at least in a vlog, in our upcoming multiplay. Ta-da! We have shot enough zombies in the face to level. Because that is a new thing for Alpha 15, guys. Experience for killing the dead guys. Which really means that one of the things they were trying to do with Alpha 15 was make it so that guys like me no longer hid in their bases and avoided the zombies on the horde. So they made it tougher for the base to defend itself and meant that any zombies that die on the base you don't get XP from. So 
Nice little carrot and stick method to try to convince people to go out and fight. And I knocked him right into the cactus. See that elite situational awareness. That right that gets me no treasure. Barg. Which way is the Does the Did it just end? Or was this the start and I'm running the wrong way? Oh. The POI is there? What 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 is this the the this is a wait, what the the I have I don't know. I've never seen this before. And I've got probably 200 hours in in the experimentals, and I've never seen this before. Let me get this tree out of the way so we can get a clearer look. This is a monument? A burial site? I don't know. I am several flavors of confused. You hear the confusion in my voice, and that's not my acting for the show. That is, I don't know what is on top of this giant rock penis. It looks like there is a smaller crafted rock penis on top of this giant rock penis. And I don't know... I mean, really, who stacks penises, rock or otherwise? It just seems uncomfortable. I mean, it's definitely a POI. It's got an area blocked off Fort and everything. Nothing on the ground designating the outside of the area. There's nothing to read. No marking. That's just rock. That's just rock. Those are all rock. Uh, I'm gonna make us a shovel. And see if the there's something buried under our crazy rock penis mountains. enough wood to make frames before I go jumping down. Oh yeah, I've got plenty. Okay. Well, since it wants us to make three wood frames next, let's make 33. Because when in doubt, be excessive. And we're going to tunnel right through, right under our giant rock penis, to see if there's anything concealed by said rock penis. You had no idea when you clicked into this show that you were going to hear the word penis so often. And I know that because I had no idea I was going to say it. Uh, we want to go northeast. So, not you. How about you get out of my way? Ah! Oh! Apache artifact, uh, artifact chest. I know what's in here. Thanks to Game for Kicks. Everybody ready? First, listen to the tone. Ah, oh, and we see but a single humble stone axe. However, it is neither single nor humble. This is, in fact, the Taza's stone axe that we have uncovered. Now, okay, that's a 42, mine's an 11, and broken. So, actually, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to build a new stone axe first. Um, we're going to just wood frame this up in the hopes that... If we come back here, should we still be playing this in a month, there will be a Hoochin Taza Stone Axe in that place. Okay, so guys, if you see a double penis anywhere in the desert, then you want to dig under it and find yourself a Taza Stone Axe. Um, let's build a brand new Stone Axe. That'll be a better, better demonstration. Scrap. There's actually a way to get the Taza Stone Axe now. That's awesome! Okay, so here's a regular Stone Axe. My current entity damage is 4.7. Um, 417 rather, and block damage is 1668. The Taza Stone Axe, which is damaged, but remember, repairable, um, 
9.474291, and that's in its current state. So that means this is going to be two and a half times faster. Uh, how much am I going to lose if I repair this? Probably a lot, but it, it needs to be done. Okay. Oh, I went down 36. So yeah, there we go. That is... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at that. Sweet. So much faster. So, thank you, Ancient Apache Gods. Uh, we will be using this stone axe and trying to repair it. I don't think that we can combine it with regular stone axes on a workbench. I will be happy to test that when I find one. But at the moment, this means we at least have a really good stone axe. Um, and I'm going to keep craft in mind because I still need to keep crafting to get my skill up. But that was a really awesome find. Okay, so I'm probably going to stop this episode here because I am not going to be able to end on a higher note than a stone monument on top of a stone monument containing an Apache relic. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any suggestions of a constructive nature, please leave them below. Uh, other than that, please like, please subscribe, tell your friends, and find a safe place to bed down. I hope the zombies don't get you, and I will see you in the morning.